Publishing a newspaper every day requires the cooperation of many skilled and talented people. In this video, we will meet some of those people and see how they create the Santa Cruz County Sentinel. Our tour will take us through various departments responsible for building a daily newspaper, circulation and advertising, the newsroom, composing and computer systems, the press room, and distribution. The Santa Cruz County Sentinel is the county's oldest business. Started in 1856 by John McElroy and purchased in 1864 by Duncan McPherson, the Sentinel has featured world, regional, and local news for nearly a century and a half. The Sentinel is now owned by Ottaway Newspapers, which publishes 19 daily newspapers throughout the United States and is part of the Dow Jones family, which publishes the Wall Street Journal. Let's begin our tour with the advertising department, where you're connected to a large regional network of goods and services. The Sentinel's classified department is the county's most accessible marketplace. Here you will find everything to buy or sell. In the field, professional advertising consultants meet with customers to plan their advertising. Back in the office, they meet with a team of advertising assistants and artists to convert customers' ideas into display advertising. They use the latest in technology to produce ads for the largest retailer to the smallest boutique. The placement of the display ads in the newspaper is the responsibility of the Ad Services Department, which schedules and proofreads all advertising and provides advertisers with copies of their ads. This is also where the actual paper is mapped out. Using a computer program, ads and the space for news stories are organized to produce what we call a dummy, literally a blueprint of what the paper will look like. Whether you picked up this morning's newspaper from your porch or driveway, from a store or a vending machine, a carrier from the circulation department deliver the news to you. Customer service is a major part of the circulation department. Sales representatives go out into the community to make it convenient to subscribe to the Sentinel. Inside the customer service center, operators take calls about home delivery and subscriptions. Santa Cruz County Sentinel carriers travel more than 740,000 miles a year to deliver some 10 million copies of the newspaper yeah, throughout the county. And in the meantime, Lenora, I'm going to start you up for tomorrow. Okay. The newsroom is the heartbeat of the newspaper. Here, reporters and editors write the first draft of local history. They tell Santa Cruz County about itself every single day. Sentinel writers, editors, and photographers compile enough information each day to fill a medium-sized book. Hey, Mark. Reporters and editors meet throughout the day and discuss the stories they are working on. Well, yeah. You know that uh, Keenan requested a letter? During the day, reporters and photographers travel throughout the county either to illustrate news events or to document the unexpected as it happens. As the day goes on, reporters become writers and sit at their computers to write the story. As five o'clock grows near, Editors meet to decide what's going to make it into okay, the next so edition. What do we got, gentlemen? 
The focus is on page one, choosing the stories, headlines, and photos that readers will see first thing when they get the paper. Making those decisions is not always easy. The page one meeting is a discussion that is sometimes contentious, often philosophical, and always grounded in the desire to present the readers with the best possible stories. Editors look for a balance of local, state, national, and international news that will inform readers of the day's events. They debate the merits of the photos that go with the stories, making sure page one is not only informative, but visually appealing. By early evening, editors and photographers are putting the actual pages together. Headlines are written. News stories and photos are placed onto pages. Today's editors are part wordsmiths and part computer experts. The computer room is the nerve center of the Sentinel. Here, news stories, advertisements, and photographs are electronically processed and monitored. Systems department technicians perform daily maintenance checks on the computer system to ensure the smooth operation of each department. More than 100 computers and four distinct networking systems are vital to the newsroom, classified, circulation, and accounting departments. Technicians are prepared to troubleshoot both hardware and software. When the copy editors send a page to be printed, it flows through a series of computers that convert the information into a full page negative. By the time midnight rolls around, the newspaper has finally come together. Feature stories, news stories, and late sports events have been parceled together into the final package. Now, the paper is ready to go to press. In the plate room, a press man takes the negative and lays it on top of an aluminum sheet called a plate. The image from the negative is burned on to the aluminum sheet. The plate is then put into a plate developing machine. When fully developed, it will show the image of the negative. The plates are brought from the plate room and hung on press cylinders. Press, installed in 1985, is a six-unit Goss headliner capable of printing 80 pages with full color on all section covers. When all is ready, the operator starts the press slowly. The newsprint, called a web, comes into the folder and is cut into two sections. It is then pulled over the former boards and into the folder, which takes the now sliced web and folds and gathers the paper into sections, dropping the finished paper onto a conveyor belt. Pressmen constantly monitor the quality of the newspaper during the run and make adjustments to the density of the ink when needed. When the press operator is satisfied that he has a good copy, he increases the speed of the press. At running speed, the press will print approximately 25,000 papers per hour.
the press room floor in the basement, newsprint is fed to the press. Sentinel uses approximately 2,500 tons of newsprint a year. The paper is mounted on giant reels. Each roll weighs about a ton and is over 60% recycled fiber. On any given night, the Sentinel will go through seven or eight rolls. The newsprint roll mounted on the reel is prepared for a splice. When a newsprint roll is just about finished, another roll automatically moves into position. It rotates until it reaches the speed of the almost completed roll. A brush comes down and pastes the two rolls together. knife, then cuts the old roll away from the new one. As the papers come off the press, the conveyor takes them into the distribution area where automation and employee diligence come together to ensure the smooth delivery of the newspaper. Papers come off the conveyor and flow into a machine that places pre-printed advertising material into the paper. The Sentinel handles more than 35 million pieces of pre-prints a year. After the papers are complete, they're picked up by a gripper and fed through an automatic quality check to see that they have the proper inserts. The stacker, using a laser beam, counts the papers into preset counts and then ejects the bundle papers onto the conveyor that sends them through a timing machine and onto another conveyor that directs the bundles to the proper truck. As the papers leave the building, Drivers load them into delivery trucks that take the papers to youth carriers, stores, and vending machines throughout the county, covering areas as far away as Davenport, the Santa Cruz Mountains, and the Pajaro Valley. In a few hours, Santa Cruz will wake up to read their daily newspaper. And Sentinel employees will be reporting to work to start on another issue of your local newspaper, the Santa Cruz County Sentinel. <laughs>